The DD Society is a local nonprofit, and we work to empower women globally and educate youth locally. So we work to, with women's cooperatives in India and Guatemala, and we market their products under a fair trade model, and that allows them to have uh, an economic uh, increase in their income that is significantly uh, impactful on their lives, and it empowers them to then make changes for their community and for their families and for themselves. Locally, we work with youth to educate on social justice issues. So we have uh, youth who are trained in as social justice facilitators, and then they go into classrooms and community groups and do workshops on topics such as gender, gender equality, fair trade, environmental impact of development, and privilege and discrimination. Uh, this art exhibit is in honor of International Women's Day and we see that as an opportunity both to celebrate women and also to raise awareness about the gender inequalities that still exist around the world as well as here locally. So uh, we're happy to have partnered with the Belfry on this, on this event and this exhibit and we're excited to share it all with you. Thank you. Uh, one question. So, uh, if people want to help or donate, uh, do they have a website? How yeah. do you do that? Or? So, uh, we do have a website. It's the ddsociety.org, so D I D I. And we uh, encourage people to consider purchasing products. Um, they're in, at sale, uh, for sale uh, on the website, but also in stores around Victoria and consider donating. Uh, the programs that we run are all supported through donations and we're completely run by volunteers. So um, it's a, it's a community-driven collaborative effort to, to make the change both here locally and globally. Well, welcome. I'm Dave Skilling and I've produced this show, Create Local, Tackle Global. And um, I'm very excited with the, uh, the scope of the show. I think it's a group of artists uh, featuring some of our most well-known and uh, respected artists, and also includes a group of uh, emerging young artists. One of the other aspects of, of the show that I think is interesting is that the actual hanging of the exhibition was done by uh, Denise Dowdy and Jen Wilson, who are uh, students at Visa in Curation art curation, so they are responsible for this uh, stunning uh, exhibit as it, as it is laid out in, in the Belfry Theatre. Uh, the show is, is part of a celebration of International Women's Day, uh, and uh, the artists have been f just fabulous in their support and, and in, in, in working with us uh, on, on the exhibit. Uh, and we have such a great range of, of mediums and, and artists, as I said. Uh, we have Sean Shepard, um, who has Polychrome Gallery in town and, and is a, a, an artist and printmaker. Uh, Dwayne Prentice, uh, a professional photographer and, uh, and art photographer. Uh, a number of students from Vic High's uh, art program have uh, joined us as well. Ashley Richter uh, is one of those. Elaine Sear, a professional photographer, art photographer, is, is here also. Um, we have printmakers, uh, Victoria Edgar, who's with uh, Ground Zero Printmaking in Chinatown, and her friend and, and associate, Desiree de Ritter, is also represented. Uh, in photography, again, Francis Sullivan is here, and we have a uh, nice work by Jeremy Herndl, who is uh, both an artist and instructor uh, at Visa and at, at MISA. Um, and then work also by Rick Leong. Uh, in addition, Sandra Meggs has contributed. Carol Sabiston has a fabric, uh, mixed media fabric piece. Um, and Randy Cook yeah. has a, a wonderful print. We have uh, Roy Green. Wendy Skog, two great painters. Pat Martin Bates has a, a lovely piece uh, that uh, she has contributed that was originally done in, in the early 2000s and then she reworked f specifically for this exhibit. Um, we have Wendy Welch, who is uh, both an artist and the uh, head of Visa, the art school on Quadra Street. Ava Campbell, 
artist and instructor at Pearson College, Jane Francis and Sheila Norgate. Um, there's beautiful ceramics by Sheila Norgate, by Judy Dial, um, by Mira Matheson, as well as a lovely sculpture by Francis Semple. Uh, jewelry by a, a beautiful carved jewelry piece from Mother to Daughter by Carrie Newman. Uh, Wayne Rysick surprised us and gave us a painting which uh, is a, a portrait of Nellie McClung, a suffragette on the $5 bill, which I think was very, very appropriate for, for the show. Uh, it's a, a nice piece by Phyllis Sirota and Heather Keenan. And uh, we also have Bianca McLeod, who is a grade 12 student at, at Vic High and uh, has contributed a very, I think, very striking piece as well. So, it, yeah, I, I'm very pleased with the, the way that the Belfry Studio A has been transformed. The, the staff have done an amazing job. The lighting technician worked a full day to light the show, and I think I'm just very, very pleased with the results. I think it's, it's uh, just has done huge uh, justice to the work and makes for a, a very, very exciting show.